When shopping for a professional headshot, you'll notice a range of choices and pricing. Who knew there were so many options? How do you choose? Watch this video for a few key things to consider as you select the best headshot package for you. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Scott Lawrence, a professional headshot and portrait photographer based here in Detroit. For the best headshot tips and tricks, please subscribe and ring that bell so you'll be notified when new videos are released. As a full-time headshot photographer, I've worked with professionals from all walks of life. I've seen how and where images are used in just about every industry, so you're in good hands. This video will better equip you to make the right decision for your session. First, what's the image for? Why are you even shopping for a headshot session? Some people know they just need a LinkedIn update, or maybe it's been a few years since your last headshot and you just need a new one for the company website. That's great. You know what you need keeps it simple. How many images do you need? You need multiple images, two, three, or maybe a half dozen or more. Do you have any specific specs that you need to meet with these images? Maybe from your marketing department, or maybe you have some specs from an application. As another example, maybe you need a square cropped image for a business card, but then you also need a vertically cropped portrait for the company website. These specs can really be a big driver of what session is right for you. So try to round up as much information as you can before you book your session. If you do need several images, you'll likely want a mix of horizontal and vertical and, and maybe even some square cropped images. And then of course you'd probably want to mix these up across different wardrobes as well. If you're working with a web designer, they'll be thrilled to have all these combinations to work with. If you have a big social media presence, ask about adding additional images to your package. You can actually build up a whole library of stock images of just you with different expressions. You never know what kind of image or expression you might need, so you can caption them later. During the session, it's just important to capture the full range of options and expressions. If you're lucky enough to be working with a social media manager, you will quickly become their new favorite client because working with you will be so much easier because they'll have a ton of content to work with. What about clothing changes or background options? Once you're in the studio, changing clothes or mixing up the background and maybe even some different lighting combinations can really add to the, the versatility and range of the images. So if you're on the fence, I always recommend going with a session that's going to give you a few more images to work with. This is also going to be more cost effective over the long run as opposed to trying to schedule another shoot a few weeks later because you realize that, yeah, it's probably best that you do have some options with some different wardrobes. But what about an outdoor or organic background? Be sure to mention this up front, but in most cases, I can clip you out of the background and we can select an organic or natural background of your choosing. What about professional styling? For women, I generally do recommend a professional makeup application. And guys, that doesn't mean you're off the hook. A little male grooming can go a long way too. If you know you're going to add makeup to your session, maybe even some hairstyling, then I always recommend extending the photography session itself. You'll want to make the most of your time in front of the camera since you'll be looking your absolute best. And trust me, professional styling takes all the images to a whole new level. And that's even before we get to Photoshop. Professional makeup can also take a lot of stress out of the final session details as you arrive. My makeup artists will ensure that you have a flattering look, but still a look that looks like you. That's not overly done or overly glamorous. The makeup is also optimized to look best under the powerful studio lights. Using the wrong makeup under professional lighting can be a mess. An overly glossy finish, for example, will result in shine like you wouldn't believe. And we just can't fix that in Photoshop. It's just not possible. How soon do you need your image? I actually get a lot of clients that kind of needed an image yesterday. If this is you, let me know up front and we'll do what we can to accommodate you. The challenge may be though that you may have to give up the opportunity to have professional styling or the time to get some clothing changes in there. These are the trade-offs of trying to get a session last minute. This is why I always recommend having a professional image ready to go in a pinch. It always seems like when the press release is going to be due, you're the last to know. Now that we've talked about some general ideas to keep in mind as you select a session type, I want to take a minute and explain some of my sessions specifically. You'll still want to check my website for the most current pricing and the specific details of each session, but the information here should be enough to give you a pretty good idea of which session you want to look for. The Express package is just what it sounds. It's just the essentials. 
The session is designed to get you in and out quickly with a single look. So there's not going to be time for clothing changes. You'll want to arrive camera ready. And the good news is you'll be done in 20 minutes or so. My express package includes one professionally retouched image from a selection of proofs. So figure you'll have maybe 10 or 12 images to choose from. Since the background and the lighting aren't going to be changing, you're really just picking the expression here. And when it gets down to it, that's the core of a great headshot anyway. The Express package is also contactless, so it's perfect for the pandemic. If you text me when you arrive at the studio, I'll even grab the door for you on the way in. The Express package is also perfect for a LinkedIn or website update. It's a popular choice for employee new hires, for press releases, and even those applying to medical school. Standard and plus sessions. If you know you need multiple images or definitely want to bring a few changes of clothes, then I'd suggest going with either the standard or the plus session. The standard session will run about 45 minutes to an hour, with the plus session probably going about 90 minutes or so before any time for makeup. These sessions both include the opportunity to change clothes and will mix up the lighting in the backgrounds for you. A makeup application can be added to the standard session and it's included in the plus session. With the range of clothing and background options, these session types are great for giving you a full range of looks. So you can do anything from full business formal to business casual to even jeans and a t-shirt. If you are your business, then I highly recommend going with one of these sessions. Consultants, speakers, authors, coaches, executives, they'll often go with these sessions. And if you're wondering, yes, you can definitely use some of these images for your online dating profile. If you're already in a relationship, well, these images will remind your partner just how lucky they are. That's it. Those are the basic session types. If you have any specific questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. All my contact information is on my website. What kind of session would you book? An express, standard, or would you go all out and go for the plus session? Let me know in the comments. Keep watching for more headshot tips and tricks, and don't forget to check out my work at scottlawrencephoto.com. You can even book your session right online. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to share it with a few friends, maybe somebody in need of a new headshot.